Good morning, Woman of Truth here. This morning when I got up, it was about 66 degrees. Perfect, beautiful day after having so many heat waves, one right after another. And if I look a little under the weather, <laughs> it's because I'm going on very little sleep. My beloved cat, Sissy, um, is dying and we're not sure what's wrong with her. I've taken her to two different vets to try to save her and um, her belly filled with air and she was popped up like a little balloon and they weren't gonna do anything uh, but recommend euthanization or a very multi-thousand dollar exploratory surgery. And I, though euthanization is the, the humane thing to do if there's no fix, but I, I asked them to relieve uh, the excessive gas in her stomach. They said it was caused, they gave it a name, and they said it was probably caused, but they couldn't see on x-ray what caused it. They said it was probably caused to some kind of rupture or some kind of tear in the intestine. And uh, so they did relieve the gases that were in there and it, they took some of that out and it gave her instant relief. Matter of fact, she came home and tried to eat and it was the first time she had tried to eat in four days. So now we're going on uh, six days of not eating, but she has drank every day. She's passed urine and had bowel movements and um, I've got the decision uh, to probably today or tonight uh, when they open up at six o'clock to have her euthanized unless the Lord chooses to raise her up. So I'm a mess. So this morning when I saw the beautiful weather, I thought, well, let's put Sissy in her favorite spot outdoors. No more than five steps from me. I gave her a sedation, which she's comfortable. Um, and she's hanging in there. And I wanna show you my beloved Sissy before she passes. This is my dear, dear friend, Sissy. She's been with me since 2008. Somebody dropped her off to me. She's been the most wonderful companion. I've done everything I can as her caretaker to save her, but it looks like her time is coming unless the Lord does a miracle. So I'm gonna post this very sad video. I also uh, brought her out here and I thought, Lord, I can't just sit in the house <laughs> holding my cat and crying um, as I await the veterinarian to open up at six o'clock tonight. Um, so let me put her on this beautiful day in a very sunny spot five steps from me and um, I can watch her and she can hear her mama out here working. Her favorite thing to do is just to be outside with me as she watches me work and um, so keeping busy will help me and I'm going to post this video. I will show you the updates on the cargo trailer. Um, because that's what I'm going to be doing. I, you know, ironically, when I put her out here in this spot on this gorgeous day, the very first song that came on was Country Roads, Take Me Home. And I, I think this is the day he can raise her or he can take her. We won't let her malinger any longer after tonight when they open up. Here's what I've done to the cargo trailer. I have built... Uh, I don't think I've shown anyone this yet. I have built the first part of the bed. Um, that is the first side of the bed. As you can see, it's short. That's because an extension will be put on it. I built an even more narrow piece over here. Um, it is 75 inches long. And 75 inches is the length of a um, full-size bed. And look how... It extends into the to the shower space or it will so what I'll do is I'll put a folding uh, another 75 inch 17 inch wide or whatever it's got to be in width I haven't measured it I think it's going to be around 17 and it will be folding and it'll fold down onto this table which I will put a piece of trim here so that the folding piece can land onto this table and it'll be a wide enough piece of trim that it will secure 
that nicely. I will put this top piece, I haven't done it yet, on hinges. I thought piano hinges would work, but pian piano hinges are too, and, and I'm not crazy about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and go with the barn look. I mean, we've got, we've got a, a rustic, a classy rustic going on here. So we'll go with the barn doors type hinges and we'll stick with that. It kind of clashes with the retro look of this, um, but you know what, it'll all pull together. So, um, okay, let me show you what my plan is to do here. Now, the new air conditioning unit came in, but it's so huge. I have yet to figure out how and where we're gonna put it. And my idea is that we will put it in this space, but mount it in this corner so that it's up a little bit higher. So during the summertime, if I stick with that unit, um, then it will be in this corner. It, I think what will happen, and this is my desire, is when Bill is able to resume um, working on this with me, I will not be cutting any more holes in this trailer on my own. I see that between these two studs, metal studs, there is a spot right here. I'm probably gonna put a window unit in and I'll have him cut the hole and we'll build it so that it can be removed uh, during the during the winter season and maybe even fit a custom window in there uh, during the winter and in the summer. That will be the spot where the air conditioner goes. That's going to take skill and craftsmanship um, to build the structure and the stand and the support. But from what I've been told, uh, window units in these things are the most efficient way to go. Um, when you're not buying an RV air conditioner and that's probably what we're gonna do, but that is one venture that I'm not gonna do on my own. I think I've proved uh, to the world that you don't want me cutting holes in your trailer. So what we're gonna do here, and it, as you'll see, you're, you're probably thinking, I thought your toilet was to go there. Well, it is, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this, this piece right here, right here, and then I'm going to keep a corner and I've drawn a line where I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna beef out that corner just a little bit with another stud so that, so that you know it's sturdy enough because you're gonna have this space from here to here where it won't have this support, but we still are going to need it to support the weight of a bed. So I think we can do it. I think if we chop out um, less than two feet here, it's still gonna be sturdy enough to hold this top that will be part of the bed, the part that folds over that will be the other 17 inches of the bed that will meet up with this one. That leaves us one space that will need a modification. And so what we'll do is uh, we will, it'll be a square. It'll be from, it'll be into the shower space. So what we'll do is we will mount a lift up, um, support here and put the supports where the wood is and I think I have plenty of wood and we can beef that up underneath there uh, with two another two by four or what have you and put them on it'll be on a you know a hinge and there is your full sized um, bed using shower space that's otherwise wasted um, at nighttime and it's it's not going to be complicated um, and it'll take just a few seconds to set up your sleeping space, which I found was a priority for me. The toilet, once I cut this out in here, that will be the spot where the toilet, originally where the toilet was to go. And it might even fit in this spot here on this side. Um, I'm not sure because I think I'm gonna go with the airhead uh, toilet. I have to look at the dimensions of that to see if it'll work. I, I, I know it'll work in this spot but I'm not positive, positive it'll work over here. Or I will make my own. So that is, it's coming along. Today we'll complete the bed by the grace of God and depending on what happens with Sissy Cat, um, you know, yeah, it might. I'm praying that if it's her time to go that this afternoon as she listens to her mama hammering away and using the saws and that that will be the thing and, and the music 
playing in the background that her mama likes. Um, that'll be the peaceful and the most beautiful way to go. And then also if he wants to raise her up uh, today while her mama works, um, then I am all for that. <laughs> Uh, but he'd have to show me very clearly that he's healed her. He'd have to show me just as clear as ever. She'd have to be up and about and hungry and eating. And otherwise at six o'clock tonight when uh, Pet's ER opens up in Salisbury, Maryland, um, that may be the course that will probably be the course we'll take. So have a wonderful day. Um, stay busy. God bless you. And... God bless America.